Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm your host tonight. We are on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and I've got three great guests, Marcello, Matt, and Selena. Let's hear that theme music. That is correct, and my guests are ready because, as you know, on this show, we get right into it. In round one, we're playing loosely translated movies. What we did is we took popular American movies that were released in foreign countries with foreign language titles, and we put those titles back into Google Translate to see if we could figure out what they translate to. And my order will be Marcello, Matt, and Selena. Marcello, the Portuguese called this movie the boy who drowned in chocolate sauce. I'm going to say uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. We'll give it to you. That's mm-hmm. a correct. Hmm. All right. Over to Matt. The French called this movie the young people who traverse dimensions while wearing sunglasses. <laughs> um... Young kids, uh, the... wearing sunglasses and trench coats. We'll give you another little hint there. Too. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, uh, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> no, okay, it is the Matrix. Oh. The Matrix. <laughs> they weren't young. <laughs> well, they were then. <laughs> All right, to Selena. <laughs> okay. Over to Selena. Right. This movie was named as "Very Hard to Die" in Greece. Die Hard. Die Hard is <laughs> correct. Correct. Back up to Marcello. Right. The Relentless Exterminator in Portuguese is called the Relentless Exterminator. I'm gonna have to go with Terminator. Terminator is. <laughs> Terminator is <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> Terminator is Die Hard. Uh, that's usually what I, I think I must have forgot to add the answer to the. All right, over to Matt. This hot rod high school musical was called Vaseline Greece. in Argentina. <laughs> Greece is correct, correct, very nice. To Selena, this animated sci fi movie about a rogue weather machine was called It's Raining Falafels in Israel. What? Um... Uh... Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it uh, is... Hold on. Oh, oh, it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Oh my god. Okay. (laughs) That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Back to Marcello. In France, Mom, I Miss My Plane was the name of this holiday classic. Home Alone. Home Alone is (laughs) correct. That was a good one. (laughs) And to Matt, this 1980 cult classic was known as the unbelievable trip in a wacky aeroplane in Germany. Airplane? Airplane is correct, correct. And to Selena, Brazil called this morning after movie, If You Drink, Don't Marry. If You Drink, Don't Marry. With a Zach Galifianakis, we'll give you that little, uh, that's a little tougher than the other ones. I think Matt might know it. All right, Matt, give me a hint. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what happens when you don't take care of your hydration if you drink too much? Hangover. The hangover is oh, correct. That was correct. A good one. That was well good. played. We're going to go to the round two after we check the scorecard. We've got a very close game. One point separating first and second place. Marcello, you have a different score, so you get a little bonus. Well, thank you. You get to pick the order for round two. You can keep it the same or mix Mm -hmm. it up. 
All right. Uh, I'll go. I'll go last. All right. Who's gonna go first then? Mm, I'm gonna make uh, Matt go first. Oh, Matt, you're going <laughs> to the hot seat. Matt, welcome to the show. I'm having so much fun. This is so cool. Yeah. And what do you What do you do at Missouri whenever you're uh, not on a trivia show? I'm a hypnotherapist. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, people come to me with uh, anything that uh, starts in their in their mind with like limiting beliefs, um, anything that they think they don't have power over. Um, they come to me and and uh, I guide them into fixing it. Very nice. And how, if people want to reach out to you or learn more about what you do, how can they connect with you and, and find out more? Um, you could, uh, you could find me on TikTok at the, uh, hypnotic yogi is, uh, is my handle on TikTok. I'm, I'm also a yoga teacher. And, um, my website is, uh, Matt Dixon, my, my full name, D I C K S O N dot my com. But if you, if, if you Google Matt Dixon, uh, hypnosis, you'll, you'll find me. Very good. And, put all, oh, go ahead. Keep going. You oh, that's it. all. I, my, my, my Facebook profile is totally public, so I, I'm easy to find. Sounds good. We'll put all those links in the show notes. Matt, are you ready for the hot seat? Yes. yes. <laughs> so in round two, my guests will get three questions from the same three categories, products, mm -hmm. TV and film, and people, and then a name five bonus question. The name five bonus question is something simple like, Name five spices in your spice cabinet. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock. You got 10 seconds to name five things. You can get five more points this round for a total of eight. Matt, your products question. What car did Henry Ford say you can buy it in any color as long as it was, as it was black? Model T. Model T is correct, correct. <coughs> Our TV and film category question for you. Who directed the movie Jaws? Steven Spielberg. Spielberg is correct. And our third question, people, what was the boxing legend Muhammad Cassius Ali's Clay. birth name? Cassius Clay is correct. You went three for three. <laughs> Are you ready for your name five? I feel really smart. <laughs> name five musicals movie musicals or movies with music in them and go uh, rock and roll high school greece uh the, the, the 2001 a space odyssey rock and oh sh i could just kill me <laughs> hey it's a passionate game we get very passionate <laughs> about it. So, yep. so smart now you got six of the eight points. Not too bad. We're going to move Selena to the hot seat. Uh, Selena, okay. welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're still dancing from the theme song. I am. It's in my head now. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. We're glad to have you on. Tell us where you're calling in from. Uh, Perry, Georgia. Perry, Georgia. What's happening in Perry, Georgia? Hot. It was <laughs> 90 degrees today. And, Other than that, tell us a little bit. Know. Tell us a little bit about what you do in, in Perry, Georgia, and how can we connect with I you? I am a real estate investor. I just started my own real estate investment company a couple of months ago, and I do that part-time, and I'm a senior claims examiner for my real job. Oh, very nice. And if people want to connect with you and, and learn more about real estate investing, how can they do that? On all social platforms is SLC. S is in Sam, L is in Larry, C is in Cat. Dot Cash, the number four, and Homes, H O M E S. So it's Very SLC nice. Cash for Homes. Very nice. I'll put those links in the show notes. Selena, are you ready for the hot seat? Gotta tell you, I'm here, so I guess I could say yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right. Your products question. What cereal is called Rice Bubbles in Australia and New Zealand? Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies is correct, correct. Your TV and film question. What movie coined the phrase, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse? <laughs> oh, not 
Goodfellas. Um, ah, the Godfather, I think. Oh, you were so close. The uh, Godfather is correct. Correct. Okay. And our last question for people. By what name is astronaut Edwin Eugene Aldrin Jr. better known? Yeah, um, Eddie? Eddie no is idea. incorrect. We're looking for Buzz, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz. Oh my God, okay. All right, your name five bonus question, 10 seconds on the clock. Selena, name five items to put on a refrigerator with a magnet and go. Pictures, postcard, calendars, drawings. You got four of the five plus the three. You took seven points in the second round. Very nice. We're moving Marcello to the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Marcello, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I know you were almost volunteered as tribute tonight. I believe your your wife registered you, and uh, and here you are today. Well, that's fine. I love her very much, so she can <laughs> sign me up for anything. Um, I know it's going to win it all. Then, you know, I'm doing okay. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> very nice. So where are you calling in from? I'm coming all, uh, coming in from Rockville, Maryland, right outside of D.C. Oh, very nice. So what what's happening in Rockville? It uh, is humid, so uh, you know, probably not as bad as Georgia, but it's no. uh, it's a little humid out here. And now we always got stuff going on in the D.C. area. It tell us a little bit about what you have going on in the D.C. area. Yeah, so uh, by day I'm like in television marketing, I'm a writer producer, but uh, by nights I'm doing the Sunday Fun Day podcast with my wife. It's like a family friendly podcast where every episode we rate a different ice cream flavor and uh, give you some Ooh. fun facts and trivia about said ice cream. Very nice. A lot of local or a lot of national varieties? or We try to do stuff that people can find in most national, you know, grocery stores because people can be listening from anywhere. But, you know, whether it's from a Whole Foods to get something a little bit more of like a micro ice cream or whether it's from a Safeway or a Giant or wherever, Kroger's, we, we do it all. Do you have a favorite that's like just blowing you away? I mean, Cherry Garcia, Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia is still like the top of the pile. Right. So it's uh, it's hard to beat that one. But we've tried some really good gelatos and sorbets. So it's... it's it's not a bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad podcast yeah, to be a, yeah. to be on. Yeah, it's a, it's a terrible, terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah, cry for me. Tell uh, how can we connect and find the Sunday Fun Day podcast? Yeah, it's uh, so it's Sunday with an E, like a ice cream Sunday. Fun Day. I um, mean, we're on Spotify or any fine place you can listen to podcasts, and you can DM us on Instagram at Sunday Fun Day Podcast or email us at Sunday Fun Day Podcast at Gmail .com. Very nice, Marcello. Are you ready? <laughs> For the hot seat. I'm so ready. <laughs> Here we go. Our products question for you tonight. What hand sound activated electrical switch received a U.S. patent in 1985? Hand sound activated electrical switch. The, the clap. The clapper. The clap on, clap off. <laughs> yeah, clap on, the clap clapper off. <laughs> is correct. Can't believe I pulled that. Our TV and film question. What TV series about a teenage doctor has become a pop culture euphemism for a smart young person? Mm, Doogie Howser, MD. Doogie Howser, MD is the exact title is correct. And our people question, what pop icon was well known for his fondness of peanut butter and banana sandwiches? I believe that would be Elvis, the king himself. Elvis, the king himself, is correct. correct. Um, and our people question, 10 seconds on the clock, name any five characters on the uh, Brady Bunch. Oh, no. Uh, Marsha. Um, Marsha some more. Ted. No. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, well, we got one there. I got Marsha for you. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that scoreboard heading into the final round. We have a close, close game. Only one point now. We flip flop. Matt and Selena have taken the lead, and Marcello is down by one point. Let's go to the final round. In this round, I'm going to read a series of very vague questions Who am I? What am I? Where am I? And I'm going to play a video that helps us solve those questions. We'll begin by reading a series of clues. 
The first clue, if you buzz in when you think you know, it's going to be worth three points if you can get it on one clue. If it takes you two clues, that's worth two points. If it takes you all three clues, it's worth one point. You can buzz in if you're right. You're going to earn those points, but if you're wrong, you're going to lose those points. So you want to be fast, but you want to be correct when you buzz in. Now, to know who's buzzing in when, I've asked each of my guests to bring their own buzzer. Marcello, let's hear you test your buzzer. He's got the, the Buzz Lightyear glove. And to Matt, <laughs> got a squeaker toy. And Selena, she got the phone ringing. All right, so we'll start playing the videos. We're looking for a what? What am I? And you can buzz in multiple times. All of me are owned by China. So if, even if you get it wrong, you can still buzz in and you'll see a little timer on the right to let you know when the next clue's coming up. What am I? All of me are owned by China. Oh, Matt. Bamboo. A group of me are called a bamboo. I saw bamboo is incorrect. <laughs> Although a group of bamboo could be a bamboo. Over to Marcello. Pandas. Pandas are correct, correct. All right, let's go to that second one. We're looking for a who. Who am I? Am I somebody in a, with a bag on my head in the corner? I became a doctor to marry the woman I loved. Looking for a who. Our second clue for two points. I said dreams are the most profound when they seem the most crazy. <laughs> Became a doctor to marry the woman. And I am referred to as the father of psychoanalysis, Matt. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is correct. Correct. We'll go to our third question tonight. Where am I on Earth? This is a, it could be anywhere. Not in that spaceship that you see on the screen there. I, where I'm at, I don't have any reptiles. There's no reptiles where I'm at. Our second clue for two points. I am the largest desert in the world, but hold 90% of the fresh water. Selena. The Sahara. Sahara is incorrect. Our third clue. Eight countries lay claim to parts of me. <laughs> Matt. Um, Africa. Africa is incorrect. This is a real curveball. Yeah. Last seconds, anybody? We're looking for Antarctica. No! I was, gonna say Antarctica. <laughs> mm, I was thinking that too. Dang it. All right, that was oh, a tough yeah. one. That might be the toughest one tonight. Here we go. That was misleading. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till you see some of the other ones. Which What historical event am I? I'm looking for a historical event. Breaking news. This event only lasted 30 seconds. <laughs> Matt. The Boston Tea Party. Boston Tea Party is incorrect. Incorrect. We'll go to that second clue for two points. Four movies have been made about this day in Arizona in 1881. <laughs> Matt. Oh, Arizona. Crap. Um... Oh, I was going to say shoot out of, at the OK Corral, but that was in Kansas. Um, Tombstone. Tombstone is incorrect. Crap. We'll go on to our third clue. I am the most famous shootout <laughs> in the Old West Met. <laughs> Uh, the shootout at the OK Corral. 
gunfight at the OK Corral <laughs> is correct. You almost said it on the last clue, but you changed your mind at the last second. Oh, I you I was terrible at this. <laughs> now you're doing great. All right, our fifth question. Again, where am I in the world? I'm real. I'm hiding all over the place. It's so much fun. The na my national drink is salted butter tea. <laughs> Matt. India. India is incorrect. <laughs> He's throwing the squeaker. <sighs> Our second clue for two points. I am sometimes referred to as the roof of the world with five mountains higher than 26,000 feet. And the yak is an integral part of my economy and culture. <laughs> Yakety yak. Da, da, bet. Uh, that didn't work. I tried to mix it. So, Tibet is what we're looking for. We have four questions, or wait, we have five questions remaining. We're halfway through. So there's still 15 points remaining. Which author am I? I hold the record. Marcello. Stephen King. Stephen King is. Incorrect. Oh, that was tricky. I should have mentioned not. My photos don't always match the oh, questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I hold the record for consecutive weeks on the New York Times bestseller. Matt. John Grissom. John Grissom is incorrect. We'll go to that second clue for two points. Matt, with a pre-guess. Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom is incorrect. Selena. Stephen King. Stephen King is incorrect. 25 of my books have been made into movies. This third clue will prove it's not Stephen King. I was rumored to have over 6,000 pairs of Louis Vuitton shoes. We're looking for Danielle Steele. Oh. <laughs> All right. I was thinking Mark Twain. <laughs> we got four questions remaining. What game am I? Mm -hmm. We're looking for a game. Over one billion people have played me. My pictures could be misleading on this one. Let's see if that second clue. I am set in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Matt. Monopoly. Monopoly is. Oh, Monopoly is yes. correct. Yes. <laughs> correct. All right. Three questions remaining. We're looking for an American politician. <laughs> The Supreme Court decided whether I would be the U.S. president. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, no, no, no. Marcello. <laughs> uh, George W. Bush. George W. Bush is oh. incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Great guess. Our second clue for two points. I was roommates with Tommy Lee Jones at Harvard. Marcello. Al Gore. Al Gore is. Well, is That's him. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I just had, I was, I was right there. Sometimes I try to hit the buttons blind and I miss, like, hit the whole thing. What a animal am I? We're looking for an animal on our last two questions. I am one of two mammals that lay eggs. <laughs> Matt. Platypus. The platypus is correct, correct. What a grab. Nice shot. What's the other one? I had, uh, I am said to be the most distinctive animal on the planet. And our third one is I hunt by detecting electrical signals through my bill. He meant the other one that laid eggs. Oh, that I don't know. <laughs> Rats? I, don't know. I think it's a kind of mouse or something. Yeah, like yeah. a field mouse. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry. I thought you wanted the other the other clues. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you cared about my writing. 
I do. I... Here we go. Who am I? Our last question tonight. Who am I? I have known over 12 U.S. presidents. I have known over 12 U.S. presidents. I received over 400,000 awards and honors in my lifetime. That. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is incorrect. Hands on the buzzers. This will give it away. I was one of the most recognizable queens in the world. <laughs> Matt. Queen Elizabeth. The second. The queens. The second. The second. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> correct. Congratulations. That was a fun final round. It was all over the place. But through it all, we have Marcello with oh, the win know, with know. six points. Selena in second with four. Bottom. And Matt battled every question. Well played. That's a tough, that's a tough third round. <laughs> that was and tough. congratulations, really Marcello. Hard. Let's go around and do one more round of plugs. Let's, so everybody can connect with you. Selena, let's start with oh, it's, Matt. Let's start with you. We're Selena. We, let's, know. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing on this show. <laughs> Keep them on the shows. Uh, Selena, how can people reach out to you and connect with you? Um, again, on all social platforms is slc.cash, the number four, and homes, H-O-M-E-S. Very nice. And to Matt. Um, you can find me at uh, The Hypnotic Yogi on TikTok. Um, and um, you can email me at mdixon28 at Yahoo. And uh, just... Just search Matt Dixon on Facebook and, and look for my mustache. I'm really a good hypnotist. I'm, I'm, I'm an excellent hypnotist. I I suck at this. But... Wow, this was great. <laughs> hey, it's Marcello. Yeah, you can find me on the Sunday Funday podcast at, uh, you know, on Spotify or any place you find podcasts or you just DM us at Sunday Funday podcast. Um, yeah, you'll find us. We're out there. Enjoy ice cream. <laughs> Hey, you can find us and let's dance our way out of here. We're going to play a game called Tribons, birds or Australian slang words, real or fake flavors of Doritos. Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Stuff I Never Knew Trivia Game Show, and we are looking for contestants for future episodes. If you'd like to play trivia here on the Armstrong Neighborhood channel, head over to StuffIneverKnew.com, click Be a Player, fill out the short form, and we'll get you on a future episode. Hope to see you in the hot seat.